Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be talking about this apartment building collapse in Davenport, Iowa. What you're seeing now is some pictures of it before, right before the collapse, where they tried to shore it up with two befores. Hmm. But anyway, there's some questions I have uh, about what's going on here. <clears throat> Three people lost their lives, almost a fourth one. Uh, three gentlemen lost their lives in this collapse. As you can see, these are pictures taken. Look at that two before right there. These And that gap was like 18 inches. Um, it was, there was a clerical error, I guess. Um, it was deemed unsafe, but for some reason, they declared it safe. In a clerical mishap whatever you want to call it that's a big mistake here's some drone footage of the building after the collapse <clears throat> now one of the things I want to talk about is the day before all right the day before there was a 911 call and I'm gonna play that call in its entirety for you right now and then we'll talk about that Show all what's the other emergency? Hi there. Um, it's uh, downtown Davenport. Um, there's not a real emergency, but because I can't necessarily reach any uh, non-emergency right now, I was calling in. Uh, okay. well, what's the location? I, I work for Davenport. It's uh, three three two. I think it's three two four Main Street, across from the library. The the Davenport lofts, I think, is what they're called. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Well, um, it's more of a it's something might need checked out. Um, I, I, I work for the down, uh, the downtown Davenport partnership. One of my guys was working. He was cleaning up in the back parking lot and said that the wall is bulging out. Um, it, it's been under repair, and the someone is there working on it and told him to get out of the way because it's not looking good. Um, I, I don't know if the fire might want to stop by and look at it and see what's which wall, which wall is it? So it would be the southwest corner of the building, which is along the alleyway behind uh, the me and Billy area. So it's visible from the outside? Yes, yeah, it's an exterior wall. Okay, hang on one sec here. They, they did, they've been doing repair work on it, but my guy said he looked at it and there's actually someone working right now and they're trying to figure out if it, um, what's going on with it. So, just in case, I'd rather have someone stop and look at it. Yeah. Right, hang on, let me go and start it real quick here. Because the area of the wall that they're working on, it's... 30 to 40 feet tall, so it's a pretty major portion of the building. Okay, we're gonna have to go check it out and just check the integrity of the structure. Sure. Um, okay. Um, all right, I will. Um, I'll probably have somebody give you a call back. If you don't hear from anybody, just call us back, okay? Okay, like how, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or? Yeah, something like that. I, but I'm not on site, I'm at home, no, and I'm, this is I'm being relayed from my worker. Sure, sure. Okay, all right, thanks very much. Okay, bye, right, thank you, bye-bye. Okay. Thanks, mate. Okay, so after hearing that, here's, uh, here's a question for you. That call was dispatched the day before at 2.48 p.m. Three firefighters arrived on scene. Uh, that was three minutes later, okay? And at 2.55, they cleared the scene. So that means they were there for about four minutes. Four minutes, three firefighters from Engine 1 were dispatched. From the time of the call until the time they left was just, just under 10 minutes. We'll just say 10 minutes. I don't know what was said or done after that. I'm just, my question is, I would like to know why the building wasn't evacuated at that time. Why couldn't they call somebody? It just doesn't make sense why they, they couldn't have called someone 
and had them evacuate that building. Now the reason why I say there was almost a fourth victim was because this lady here, her name is Lisa Brooks, I think she's 52, the day after, this was the day after, she was either hidden under her bed or in her uh, bathtub, but the day after they was talking about taking the rest of the building down because it was unsafe to look for the other victims. As you can see, she was still in that building. So they did not do a thorough search of that building at all for her or anyone else for that matter to see if there was any any survivors in there. Thank goodness she made it out alive. Now these these two photos here are from 2021 where residents took these photos and they had tried to tell the management, look, you know, there's something going on here. I've got cracks in my walls. Nothing really happened of it. There's more about about this on on all over YouTube and, and different news channels and stations that you can find out about. But those are just the questions I have. Why wasn't that place evacuated immediately when they seen all, all that work? When 911 was called, why, why were the firefighters only there four minutes and they just de deemed it safe? All right, we're going to leave now instead of calling in somebody. I, I don't understand it, guys. So, like I said, there's so much more about this. I may t touch on it later, but I just found out about it today, and it, it, it kind of bothers me. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and, and please pray for the ones who who have lost their lives in this tragic incident.